I got it. I got it. to my channel if you're new here my name is Becky and today I have some mystery Australian snacks I'm so excited because my friend Annie has mailed me some mystery snacks that she's wanted me to try from Australia I do believe they're little really cute Australian stickers all over the packaging from DHL he showed up a day or two ago and knocked on my door it was relatively late at night and I answered my door for strangers so I wasn't gonna answer it I just happened to go and peek through the peephole and I was like oh um DHL who could this be got a package and he came back like 10 minutes later and I was like suspicious um but it was another box it was an even bigger box so um without any further delay let's crack them open <laughs> and it says handle with care fragile so I'm gonna cover this part up so you can't hopefully see my address but what a cute little sticker they have been taped to high hell but you know uh, oh my gosh all right I think we got it we might have to split this up into like two parts because there seems to be a lot of stuff here in just this first one. Dig in, then be sure to come back for more at the Australian Food Shop. It says, good day from Australia. Hi buddy, thank you for your letter. I'll be sending you one back, but in the meantime, here's a box of Aussie treats. A care package and some extras I thought you might like. Thank you for always being such an amazing friend to me always. Can't wait to see you, or can't wait till we get to see each other again soon. Miss you, lots of love, Ami. Um, some of you may have known, I did post this on my TikTok, I think, I didn't really make a video about it, even though my sister's been pressuring me to, but I've been handwriting a lot of my friends and family letters over the summer, and it took a long time, but she finally got my letter, um, and hopefully she'll be sending one back, because I do like this whole pen pal thing I've got going, but anyway, she is so, so, so generous, thank you so much, Ami, for sending me this box. Okay. So the first thing we have here is a 30 pack of candy canes. They are strawberry and peach flavor. And it, there's a Santa on the back, but instead of wearing like his normal Christmas attire, he's wearing like sunglasses and flip flops. How Australian is that? It's super cute. I kind of love this. I might cut him out and save him to send Nelson's letter, like paste on a letter. That might be really cute because all the candy canes are individually packaged. There's like layers to this box. Snickers pods. I've never seen these before. Why don't we have Snickers pods in the United States? Um, so it says creamy Snickers filled. Oh, creamy Snickers filling cradled in a crispy baked wafers topped with delicious milk chocolate. This sounds like my shtick. Um, she did send a box to another one of our friends, and she did message tell me that each of our boxes is a little bit different to cater to our snack tastes. And so far, we're two for two. I'm very excited about these. I'm gonna have to leave these closed and save these for later because I already have literally like three pounds of candy corn. Not necessarily that I need to eat all of, but I just don't need the number of temptation to open these because I would demolish them in a night. Do you guys have Snickers pods where you're from, wherever you guys are watching from? Let me know because they look delicious. Can we can we bring these to the United States? They look amazing. <laughs> A little bit of Fiji hydrification. The next thing in here are Allen's Ripe Raspberries. They look to be raspberry gummies. It says no artificial colors. <laughs> this is a little bit of fun since 1891. That's super cute. They look super, super, super good. Raspberry, raspberry, not raspberries, gummy candies are some of my favorites. I love like Haribo, specifically the Giant Straws. I love gummies. I love dots. These look like they'd be right up my alley. I'm really excited to try this. All right, so that was what's on the first layer. Let's move to layer number two. Oh my gosh, there's just so much in here. 
Okay, so the next thing we have is, it looks like a specifically Australian flavored Kit Kat. It says mint cookie fudge. I've never seen this flavor before and I used to live in Japan where they have the weirdest flavors. Strawberry shortcake, wasabi, lemon butter, whatever, you name it, they have. I haven't seen this one. Um, mint chocolate, or mint cookie fudge. It looks delicious. No, don't eat it now. I'm still talking myself out of like eating all of these right here right now i will crack open maybe one thing and try it probably one of those candy canes because they sound so tasty i have a cherry ripe cherry is not my favorite flavor so we'll have to really see with this one <gasps> i'm not gonna like this i'm not gonna like it it says that it's um a big cherry taste but it says ripe juicy cherries and coconut in old gold rich dark chocolate there are two things in here that i don't particularly really like which is coconut and dark chocolate Annie knows i don't like coconut so i'm sure she tried to make sure there was no coconut in this box like specifically coconut things um we talk about it all the time it's one of her favorite flavors but um this one might have just snuck past i will still try it though so maybe we'll crack open this one tonight um here while we're filming and i'll try this one once we see what else we got some, oh, this is another small ear thing. Everything was individually bubble wrap, which I actually really appreciate because that means all your snacks are coming um, whole. They're not getting crushed in the packaging or on the way, which I really like. This is a Cadbury Curly Whirly. You may also open this one because it feels thin. It feels small like a heat bar kind of. Um, I'm assuming it's chocolate. It doesn't actually say... Oh, it does. Okay. Milk chocolate with a caramel center. So we will try these two things here and not open everything else and waste some of the things. So let's put these aside. Oh, we have a whole chocolate bar. It's a dairy milk, which I really like. You can get dairy milk here, but not all the flavors that they make everywhere. You can get like cookies and cream, I think, the plain chocolate, caramel, fruit and nut, you know, just like the essentials. But obviously... Um, places like the UK and clearly Australia have additional flavors. This one is the Cadbury, Cadbury, Cadbury um, s'mores, dairy milk s'mores made with milk, made with dairy milk, milk chocolate with Pascal marshmallows and biscuit pieces. Oh, that's interesting. And it's a hundred percent sustainably, sustainably sourced. Cool, cool. You know, I just gotta stop filming so late at night because clearly my brain is just like shutting down. <laughs> I don't love marshmallows. So we'll see how much marshmallow they put in. Like a little bit of marshmallows gonna be fine, but if it's like overwhelmingly full of marshmallows, that's not gonna sit well with me. But it looks like it's going to be amazing. Like even just the picture of it looks amazing. And it's like a hefty bar. You can never have too much chocolate in the house, honestly. Everyone should have a little chocolate drawer. For, you know, those hard days when it's your cycle and you just need a little pick-me-up, like you should just have chocolate somewhere. So the last thing we have in this first box is chips. Now I don't eat a lot of chips. I really don't eat crisps at all, or chips. If you're from the US, crisps if you're from the UK, uh, or a UK colonized nation, <laughs> crisps. Um, I don't eat chips. The chips that I do like are sweet potato chips um, that are like kind of sweet, they're like organic baked, and what I've recently discovered, they're like our popcorn chips. Um, and they're literally a chip that looks like popcorn. It's like a big triangle chip, looks like popcorn. So I find a picture and put it in there. And the flavor that I enjoy, kettle corn flavor. Here we have kettle popcorn sensations, and it's pistachio, raspberry, and caramel popcorn, like kettle chip type things. And they look like they're kind of like caramel corn that you get, or like cracker jacks that you get, but different flavor. They look so good. I'm excited to have gotten these to try and it's a resealable package we love a resealable package here this is my first australia unboxing i think we're gonna leave it at that and we're just going to leave all these ingredients ingredients these are not ingredients please don't try to put these together and like cook with them my brain is just fried they're all candies 
<laughs> they're not ingredients don't use them that way but we're gonna just leave these as is and we're gonna try these two real quick and see how that goes if you want to see what's in the other box you'll have to come back for part two which we posted in a day or two make sure to like and subscribe because that stuff will be down there as well and click the bell button so you don't miss a notification to see what's in that next box all right so this is the cherry ripe the thing i think i'm not gonna like we're gonna try that first and then we'll move on to the curly whirly <laughs> Because I think I am gonna like this, and I don't want this to be the last flower in my mouth. <laughs> Some Fiji water, and here we go into the cherry, cherry grape. The chocolate smells nice. The flavor is good. The cherry isn't overwhelming. Yeah, there's the chocolate, but the entire inside is full of coconut. It's just cherry flavored coconut inside. I think there are a lot, a lot, a lot of people that will like this. I just don't like um, coconut. So this one isn't for me, unfortunately because actually the combinations of flavors weren't bad. It's just that for me, coconut is such an overwhelming flavor that I don't like. It's really hard to eat around it. So this is gonna be a pass for me. I'm sorry, Emmy, and I'm sorry, Australia. <laughs> this is the Curly Whirly. I'm actually quite excited about this. Oh, it's got like pockets. That's so strange. Okay, so this is the Curly Whirly, and this is the bar. It's half of it. There's the rest of it in here, but it's got these little, like, holes, kind of like pretzels. Let's see how this is. Oh, it's soft. Okay, so it doesn't snap a bar. I don't know how it broke the packaging, but if it's super soft. This I love. This, for me, is a 10 out of 10. I love gooey caramel. I like the chocolate. The ratio is perfect. Why are there air pockets? Why are there little holes? Why is it just a solid bar? Oh, this is good. Can you guys go away from me and like come back? Cause I'm gonna need a minute. <laughs> As he pulls himself together, let's see how SpongeBob's bathy is shaping up. It's so sticky, but it's so good. I'm a big fan of the curly whirly. Not so big a fan of the cherry right. <laughs> guys, remember I have one more box to open, which I'll be doing in another video. So guys, make sure you like, comment what you guys think about what's in the box. Are these some of your favorite candies if you're from Australia? Is this something you'd want to try? If you subscribe and hit the little bell button, you'll make sure to be notified when I post the next video, which will be the next box. It's an even bigger box than this one. And I'm really excited to see what's inside. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next. Bye!